Okay, so I have no idea if I have enough battery to do this, so hopefully I do. But if not, you'll get as much as I can. Um, so it's almost Mother's Day, and I was thinking about probably there's a bunch of guys right now who are running around, especially with those with young kids, and who are going, man, what am I going to get my wife for Mother's Day? It's I can't take her to the restaurant. I can't go out shopping. There's a lot of things I just can't get that I would like to get her. And they're a little frustrated right now on what to do. So... Um, so I was just thinking about, like, really, what does make a mom happy? And remember when, well, maybe it's now, but for me it was a remember, when the kids were little and they went out and they just grabbed, like, a little handful of flowers and they brought it to their mom and they gave it to her. And, I mean, that's, like, one of the best gifts in the world. And, and I'm not saying necessarily you should just go get your, your wife uh, a handful of weeds from the garden. Um, that, that's not quite it. But what it really meant to that mom and to me when I was my kids were little was appreciation it meant that that kid truly in an undulterated way loved their mom like really loved her and and said it in a, a really nice way that just very clean and pure I love you mom and I appreciate you and I'm really glad you're my mom and so if you're thinking about what to get your mom whether you're a guy or, or a girl or whoever you happen to be what your mom really wants is appreciation. To just be told, you've done a good job as a mom. You know, and I know as, as a mom, you know, every other job out there, you get a paycheck or you get an annual review that at the end of the year, it says, hey, you did a good job. These are the things you did well. These are the things that maybe you can improve upon. And you don't get that with being a mom. And so, you know, the way that you do it is that your kids grow up and they they're good people and that's your paycheck and that's your employee evaluation and it takes a long time and it, it doesn't happen necessarily right away so I'm gonna tell you years ago and I still it's it's still my very favorite Mother's Day gift of all time is one that my my husband gave me years and years and years ago and it was when my kids were little and I was a very exhausted mom and I'm talking like really tired, you know, like when you just didn't get any sleep at all and the kids were touching you all the time and you were sick of being touched. And man, that's like, you just never want to be touched ever again. And, um, and he took the kids on Mother's Day for the entire day, just away from the house. And I stayed at home and I just, just did whatever I wanted. I watched TV, I did some laundry, but it was a great day and it's what I really needed. And that was pure love. That was my husband noticing what I really needed and then giving it to me. And so if you're really baffled on what to get your mom for Mother's Day or, or for any gift for anybody, just think about what they really need and look at them for what they really need. And most of the time it's appreciation, just being told, I'm really glad you're my mom. So um, I hope that helps somebody. It, you know, it, it's a simple thought. Um, those, those handwritten cards that your kids did, they were pretty darn nice. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. There's a, a big storm coming in tonight, and um, it's not going to be such nice weather tomorrow or even tonight. So um, it's nice to just sit here on the beach and kind of look out and, and just think about how much I miss my mom. So be nice to your mom. Hope you guys have a great day.